Hello and welcome to how to rotate a texture. So you may find yourself wanting to rotate a texture sample for various reasons. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You go into in your material and let's find our texture we want to use here. Put onto a plane to make it a bit easier for you to see this. And this works for user interface uh, domains as well as surface domains. You can do it in anything really. Uh, but let's say we want to rotate our texture. So let's first of all we need a texture in there. Let's put a texture in. And we'll just find a texture we can use. And in fact, we'll just choose something that's going to be really obvious. Uh, let's choose this spawn point texture. Okay. Put that into my base. So if I want to rotate the texture around, I need to manipulate the UV coordinate of our texture sample. So you create the texture coordinate node, which is the U left click. Or you can just right click and search for it, texture coordinate. And before we plug it into UVs, we want to rotate this. We're going to do a custom rotator. And I'm going to plug that into the UV coordinate. Now, by default, you're not going to see any change here. But that's if we just give it our rotation center and rotation angle. The rotation center is, as name describes, is where it's going to rotate around. So if you leave this alone, it'll be at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which is dead center of our texture. But you may want to rotate it around another coordinate, say 0, 0, or somewhere else entirely. That's totally up to you. I want this to be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, so I'm going to leave this alone. Next, we've got the rotation angle. This is a scalar value between 0 and 1. So it's not a degree you put in, it's a it's a percentage, essentially. What you put in. So this is left click with 1 being held, and you'll create a scalar. And you can put that into a rotation angle. Another way of making it, you just right click on here and search for scalar parameter, and you'll see that there. Or you can just right click in here, and you can also find it underneath the name constant. But the shortcut for that is hold down one and left click. So if I were to change this value here from zero to say 0.25, you're gonna see a rotation here of our texture. And if we go 0.5, it's now upside down. And so on and so forth. You can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with this. And this works especially well when you're doing things like um Radiance, panning, things like that. You can do all sorts of really interesting shapes with this. Now, one thing you could also do with the rotation angle here is put this into a time and sine wave combination. So if I put in a time node and then put that into a sine wave, I can put that into my rotation angle here. You'll see this sort of springy effect. Also, it's going to go quite fast. You must slow it down by manipulating the time value. And multiply this by a low number then we multiply that by 0.1 you'll see this spinning thing on it it'll bounce back and so forth now you may see it clipping the other duplicates of this texture if you want not to do that and you want this effect the way you get around that is just open up the texture itself and inside the texture over here on the right hand side if we go down to the texture section Go to advanced and change the x-axis and y-axis tiling methods to uh, clamp instead of wrap. Now you'll see you get this rotation effect where it bounces around and things. Now the time value and multiplier going to the sign means the value is going to go from minus one to one. So you can do other things like doing abs on this. They don't get that minus one value. You get a slightly different rotation effect. It looks like it bounces off. But you can have lots of weird, wonderful fun with this. Definitely experiment, see what you can do with it, and have a bit of fun. There you go. If you like this how-to and want to see more how-tos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. You can find more of my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you all. Bye, everyone.